So we're here with the Eagle Eye today, and we have a special guest, Tyler Yelkin, um, the new head lacrosse coach for uh, Reinhardt University. I'm um, just going to ask you a few questions today. Um, so first of all, how do you um, like Reinhardt so far? How do how you settled in? Love it. Uh, I love the culture up here. Beautiful campus, and uh, the, I like the small school atmosphere compared to a big school, and that was one of the attractions of coming here. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, for the upcoming season, do you um, feel like you guys are going to be competing again for another national championship, um, trying to make it five in a row? Absolutely. I feel uh, the talent we have left on the team this year with some pieces we got coming in for transfer, uh, that we should be able to, one, compete for an AAC championship, but also for Natty. Um, with that, um, so how is the team looking this year, like with returning players-wise from last year? Uh, returning wise, defense is a, a solid. We uh, didn't lose much off the defense. Offensively, we've got a lot of sh uh, big shoes to fill. Uh, we have some leadership that has rolled over from the previous year, but uh, moving forward, we got a lot of young guys that have got to prove themselves. Um, Coach Elkin, also, we just um, want to know a little bit about your background before you came to Reinhardt with, uh, in the world of lacrosse. Absolutely. So I've, uh, I was at Kennesaw State for eight years. I've also been the vice president of the Southeastern Lacrosse Conference for almost 10 years now. And I've also served on the MCLA Executive Committee. Uh, I've worked uh, with US Lacrosse, uh, coaching clinics all over the country. And um, I've been in coaching since I was 19 years old. So I've been doing this a long time. Um, sounds very nice. Um, so like, did you have, how many years experience did you play lacrosse like when you were younger? Total, I didn't start until I was a freshman in high school. I uh, played four years of high school, and I only got three years of eligibility in uh, college. So my whole career was seven years. Um, do you feel like there's um any shadow that like cast like at Reinhardt like with you coming in trying to like take over again? I, I you know I've been asked that several times. I don't feel a shadow as far as what the team had done and accomplished before. I look at it as a standard that we got to keep. Uh, I don't think that it's something that. Um, you know, a lot of people always say don't follow a legend when he leaves, but to me, um, I, I don't look at Jon Snow or the program the way it was just because we competed against each other for so long and we had many good battles. So uh, being able to come in under, you know, after what's been accomplished is exciting because I want to be able to continue that tradition. Um, going for, forward, um, we just want to ask again, like, how, like, what did you like most about Kennesaw State? How did um, you like coaching there? What did you accomplish there? Like? made you the most proud? Uh, I think taking a program that went from 4 and 11 the year before and uh, within the first three weeks we were ranked in the top 15. There was only one week in my entire career at Kennesaw we were ranked in the top 25. Uh, we got by year two in the top five and uh, made it to nationals consistently and turned into a national powerhouse program. And uh, that, was, that was a huge accomplishment for the program but also for that to be able to sustain for long term. Um, what are you most excited about about the upcoming season and being your, in your first year here at Reinhardt? I'm excited to, like I said, continue the tradition. Um, the, the winning culture here at the program is something that's really exciting to, to be a part of, but also continue upon. Um, the facilities here are great. The, the management, everyone above in the administration is amazing. The, the amount of support that uh, I get from all the other coaches and the, uh, the entire administration is great. Uh, building those relationships with other coaches and other sports is something that's really important to me as well. Um, this year, who do you expect from your team to have a breakout season or lead you guys through what will be in your first season as Reinhardt's coach? Uh, well, I believe Dylan, our captain, is returning. You know, the highest point scorer we had last season uh, is a big person we're going to lean on heavy um, defensively. Uh, I believe we got the best defense in the country, so we're going to rely heavily on our defense to carry us throughout games, especially those tight games when we get into these tighter competitions. Um, offensively, we don't really know what we're going to look like yet. You know, this next weekend is uh, our first test, and we'll see what we look like against other competitions. So, um, we've got some young guys that haven't gotten a lot of playing time before, but it's their time to step up and show what they've got. Um, with that being said, who do you guys play this weekend? We've got Young Harris and Emmanuel College. We're playing in a play day at Barry uh, College up in Rome. Okay, well, um, thank you for your time today. I appreciate you, sir. Absolutely.